Hello, Wolfpack. I am in a position in which I'm willing to make a statement here uh, that I will make throughout this video that Bitcoin is in a bullish channel formation. Bitcoin is on support in a bullish channel formation. I think that the most likely next move for Bitcoin, which I think will be coming within the next few days, right? Maybe at the most five or six days as per the Bullinger Bands and the daily chart. I think that that next move will be upwards. Now, it's very important to note, and I'll get into this in the video, that doesn't mean we can't swing down to the bottom of the channel first. And if we do that, we will put in a new low, slightly lower than the last one. While we, were, while we are within the channel, I'm uncertain, but overall, the channel breakout should be to the upside. And we've got a lot of things to talk about, uh, and I need to talk about all of that in this video. Before we get into that, check out the Wolves of Crypto VIP Telegram group, where you can do trading signals with the Wolves of Crypto VIP for a small fee. Uh, and then you can also check out the Telegram discussion group Group, which you can join for free and just discuss the market 24 7 with other wolves crypto subscribers uh, and then on top of that crypto academy courses if you want to learn how to trade me and myself myself and megawell crypto we have a uh, a course which teaches people how to trade through 10 units of the cryptocurrency market we also have a youtube channel for the crypto academy coming out today which we're going to be releasing a collaborative video on regarding the market so stay tuned for that i'll make a community post please turn on your notifications uh, so you get aware of that and leave a like on the video let's get into it guys i know i had a big rant there sorry about that let's get into it So straight off the bat, looking at the short-term charts on Bitcoin, namely the four-hour chart, which I think is relatively short-term. Uh, and if we zoomed in a, a little bit more as well, we could see exactly how I've gotten these lines drawn. But for what I'm seeing right now, I'm kind of seeing a descending channel formation. A lot of people would agree with me on that. Uh, we did have, if we zoom up to the hourly chart just very quickly here, we did have this smaller triangle formation here. As you can see, we spoke about that uh, in the video two days ago. We said if we moved upwards out of this triangle to the upside, you'd enter a long position and you'd take that trade to seven. 17k, which is the top of the local range. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't do that. Uh, and so I also said, if you remember, uh, if we break to the downside, you take the trade down to 16.2k. So that was a nice little trade there that some people might've been able to pick up, but we dropped down. And, and of course it did happen very fast. It was, an, it was about one hour or two hours worth of drops. It took us from that price at around 16,400 to around uh, 16 flat. Uh, so not a massive drop, but you know, considering the range, how it's a pretty tight range, it was a relatively significant move, but mainly it was significant because you know, not because of the percentage of the drop itself, but because we actually lost that triangle formation. That's gone now. We can go ahead and delete that line. Uh, and we actually dropped below a another trend line that was acting as major support and resistance uh, since around the 10th of November, right? This trend line was the first touch of the low. That actually was the low uh, during the FTX crash. We tested it again here. We came through, we tested it on these wicks. Uh, we went downwards. And even when we got back above, it we was still testing it for support. And we just dropped through it like it was nothing now. And it's, it looks like it's almost invalidated to a certain extent. So we can actually go ahead and delete that line as well because I don't see that as particularly important right now. Now, those lines that I just deleted there, if you're a trader, if you're a scalp trader on Bitcoin, you know, you could realistically keep those in just in case uh, you need them in the future, just in case to see where things are going, to see where you're getting rejected from and supported from. But I'm not particularly interested in scalp trading Bitcoin. Most of my scalp trades are on altcoins, so it's not exactly relevant to me. What I care about on Bitcoin is the larger structure. Uh, and the larger structure, in my opinion, as what we're seeing here, we can go back to the four hourly chart now, uh, is this descending channel formation. Now, it's very important to note uh, because some people get confused here, and I've seen the confusion, you know, already sprouting throughout my community. Uh, we've moved downwards, we've formed a descending channel. That's not a, a, a bear flag, that's not a bearish pattern, okay? A bear flag would be if we moved downwards and formed an ascending channel. That would indicate that we go down further. This is actually a pattern of reversal right here. What, what we have on Bitcoin is, is a very clear pattern of reversal, okay? We've moved downwards and formed a descending channel formation. It doesn't look too bad. Volume has been decreasing throughout the entirety of this channel. As you can see, volume is trading downwards, which means the further down we go, which we are moving down because it is a descending channel. The price, the, the highs getting lower and the lows are getting lower. The further down we go, the volume decreasing represents the further down we go, the less selling pressure there is, which means the further down we go, the less people are willing to give up their Bitcoin at these price levels, which means that most likely there will be a shift towards buying pressure soon okay now on top of this there's more factors we do have a bullish divergence on the four hourly chart now interestingly as well we also do have a hidden bearish divergence on the four hourly chart so it kind of counteracts that it kind of counters it out and it's not really relevant at this point uh and so moving to the daily chart to get a bit of a better view on what's going on here we have bullish divergence on the daily chart we have again descending volume of the daily chart obviously because we have it on the four hourly chart as well uh but most importantly which is interesting the daily chart we also have a bullinger band compression a very tight bullinger band compression 
Uh, now, what you'll notice, okay, this is very interesting. What you'll notice is that every time we see a big move, right, the Bullinger Bands expand, obviously, because we see volatility. But when they come together again, right, when they clamp together, I'm circling a couple of times where it happens, we see the beginning of the next move, okay? Clamp together, beginning of the next move. Clamp together, beginning of the next move. Right now, the Bullinger Bands are clamped together, which means within a matter of days, most likely here on Bitcoin, right? Within a matter of days, it's hard to be very precise, but within a matter of days, there will be, uh, quote, the next move. Now, according to the charts that we have available, that next move is going to be upwards, okay? That's just according to the tier that I've seen. All right, a couple more things to support that because this is a big claim I'm making here, right? I want to briefly interrupt this video to talk about the BitGet exchange. The BitGet exchange has five times lower fees than Binance, which is the biggest major exchange in the cryptocurrency market on futures. It also has zero feeds on every single spot pair, so you can trade spot for entirely free, no fees included. It runs events. Right now, it's got a FIFA World Cup event sponsored by Messi, the football player. It's got copy trading, strategy trading. It's got exclusive rewards and discounts in the reward center. It's got everything you need for a trader using exchange. This is the exchange I personally use as a trader for my everyday trading, and I highly recommend it everyone does so at the Wolves of Crypto YouTube channel. Sign up using my referral link for exclusive rewards and discounts. That really helps out the channel and I appreciate it. For my fans from the United States of America, you can sign up using this exchange uh, with a VPN uh, and use the exchange with a VPN and just sign up using my referral link like normal and you'll be treated like a normal customer because this is also a non-KYC exchange. So make sure to sign up using my referral link in the pinned comment or the description below. And without further ado, let's get back into the video. Couple more things to support that. Well, looking at uh, the uh, weekly chart, for example, Okay, bullish divergence on the weekly chart. We also have a, a bearish, uh, not a bearish, but a resistance line on the weekly chart, which is interesting as well, uh, which we'll have to, sorry, which we'll have to monitor closely over the next, I don't know, few weeks, I guess. Uh, but we're a bit far away from testing that right now. So it's not really relevant at this point in time. But namely, what I wanted to look at on the weekly chart is the fact that we have this uptrending level of support, which is stemming all the way back here from 2014, which cuts through the 2014 lows and highs, cuts through here in 2017, cuts through the lows in 2018, cuts through the COVID drop, and of course, has just been tested in the recent weeks. If we fixed up the line, we can get a better example of it, has just been tested last week at this level, meaning there is a major level of support stemming from an eight year long support line here on Bitcoin. On top of this, on top of this, right, very important, we're also on the support level indicated by this line that I'm making pink right now, uh, which of course is the 2017 rejection point after the top. Okay, we topped out, came down, rejected from that point, went back down. So we're on support both diagonally and horizontally. We're in a, a bullish market pattern. We've got descending volume. We've got bullish divergence. And on top of that, if we look at the three-day chart and we draw, and you guys will be familiar with this by now, we draw the RSI line. Sorry, my camera might be in the way here, but you'll have to bear with me. We draw the RSI horizontal support line at 34.3, you know, something like 34, 33, somewhere around that. I can't remember the exact number. What you can see is that every time Bitcoin touches this line on the RSI, three-day RSI, and we bounce off of it, we see a major rally. Every time we drop below it, we see a major correction. Right now, we are on that line, which means we are on support on the three-day RSI as well. So I've covered a lot of points here, and it's very important that everyone understands them very perfectly. Okay, everyone's very bearish right now. That's fine. You can be bearish. I'm not bullish. I'm not bullish. Okay, I'm not bullish because there's no confirmation in the charts that will make me bullish right now. I'm simply saying the most likely move at this point in time seems to be upwards. Now, I'm not saying we can't go down to the bottom of this channel because with anything within the market pattern is entirely possible. We could very well come down to the bottom of this channel, test 15.3K, 15.4K, which would even make a new low, right? But we're still within the same bullish market pattern. So long as we are in this market pattern, the most likely move, in my opinion, seems to be an upside breakout, right? Even when we see the upside breakout, that wouldn't just confirm the end of the bear market, right? But it would put us in a good position to test the level that would confirm the end of the bear market, which of course is this downtrending yellow line and more importantly, the bull market support band. Okay, so we are in this channel here. I'm circling right now. I'll delete everything so you guys can see it. We are in this channel here, okay? This channel is most likely to break to the upside. As for what's going to happen while we were, uh, are within the channel, it's very hard to say. We could test the bottom of it again. We could place a new low at the bottom of the channel. But as for the breakout, most likely we'll come to the upside. And if we do break to the upside, we will most likely come and test this yellow downtrending line. And if we break that, then we can start to talk about uh, a confirmation of the end of the bear market. But at this point in time, we are within a channel. A lot of people think the channel is bearish. I would disagree. I'd say the channel is actually more bullish than bearish. And that's kind of the overarching point of this video.
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Collaborative video on the Crypto Academy channel later tonight. I will make sure to put a link in the community uh, in the community tab, community page when that comes out. Please turn on notifications. Keep an eye out. There's going to be a lot discussed in that video, and we're excited to bring that channel. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.